So we're really close to checkpoint one now, and I'm not tired yet. This is just heaven. This is just so much fun. Best decision ever. Two hours later. Ankles are dead. I'm so drained right now. I I don't know how I'm gonna do it today. I really don't feel up for a walk. So I don't want to do. So if anyone is watching, save it. But. Hello. What's good, everybody? So today's vlog is all about the Oxfam trail walk. I'm doing a hundred kilometer endurance training walk, which is spread over two days. It's going to be somewhere outside Pune. I forgot the exact name of the starting point. You'll know it in this vlog. But primarily, I'm doing today's walk to prove to all the powerlifting and bodybuilding haters that powerlifters and bodybuilders like myself aren't all about that bicep life. When you're into weight training, you're not just building your muscles. You're building your entire body. You're elevating your fitness levels. And we are capable of walking 100 kilometers over two days. So endurance training is all about carb loading. We forgot to record this entire meal. But I had about six of these theplas with a lot of butter, as you can see. Because, you know, we're Punjabi, we love our butter. And I'm also having about three or four Puran polis topped with ghee because maka pyar. So, what are we loading up with before the walk? I've got a lot of rice. I've got some paneer because protein, baby. I've got some kind of dal salad, looks like a black chana salad. And I've got some dal for nutrition, obviously. But the main deal here is rice. This is what's gonna fuel the walk. I love this. So all that butter and ghee that I had in the morning is paying off right now. This is so chill in the outdoors and uh, <laughs> this is intense. My last year and a half has been in front of my computer screen. And even the vacations have been in cities and I've honestly never experienced nature like this before. Yeah, look at that. on nature. <laughs> okay, so last meal of the day, carb loading again. We've got rice, dal, a little bit of veggies, a little bit of chicken, but primarily all about the carbohydrates. Okay guys, so I'm going to sleep. Today was all about loading up on carbohydrates, but it's time to get some rest before the walk tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's about 4 a.m. Day one of the walk. And the first thing we're doing is taping up our feet. So I tend to get like a lot of blisters when I go for long distance walks or running. So you're taping up the feet and your regular Nike shoes in three, two. We've got a tape up and folks over at Goki were kind enough to sponsor this walk for me. I remember I'm walking for charity and Goki's donated on my behalf. So I'll be walking for this team called Goki Champions. Let's go for breakfast. Okay guys, so breakfast as usual, we've got poha which is again high carb, high calorie and I'm fueling up with a bit of protein my favorite form of protein, eggs this is about like 3-4 eggs and lots and lots of carbohydrates the carbs are what matter today today we aim to do about 60 kilometers like through the trek so let's see how this goes we're on our way to checkpoint number one never experienced anything like this in my life this is insane, get a look at the view This is gorgeous, baby. This is some next level shit. Check it out, we walked. We walked like somewhere from there all the way up the mountain. At this point, my ankles are killing me, but overall, great progress. And I'm getting a bit of a blister again on my foot. But overall, it's still nice, it's still fun. Still not reached the point where it becomes more of a mental game.
So we're just at checkpoint four, and the last two checkpoints were super difficult. At this point, it's actually psychologically difficult now. Like my body is okay, my knees, ankles, everything's fine. I've got blisters, but more than anything, it's kind of getting boring. So we've been walking continuously for about 12 hours now, with just a few breaks in the middle, and I'm just like, I'm just going for it. I'm kind of. Remembering that whole innings that Virat Kohli played against Australia and Pakistan in the T20 World Cup, where there was like a lot of pressure on him, the run rate was high, and he just kept at it. This is what I mean when you talk about people who inspire you. It doesn't get better than Virat Kohli, man. And even a situation like this, which is so new for me, I'm using that Virat Kohli example. It's all about the psychological game, nothing else. But overall, the walk has been super fun, super tiring, super testing. But now I'm super determined to complete it. Anything tastes like five star food right now. I'm that hungry. Okay, done with dinner, and now we're going for our night trek. And the issue with the night trek is that we can't record much footage because it's kind of dangerous. So we're gonna be on like super rough terrain, and carrying a camera in the terrain is almost impossible. So I'm sorry, guys, but I'll see you in the daytime. So we're at checkpoint number six right now. We've been refueling a lot with Tang. And this is easily the most difficult thing I've done ever in terms of how much it tests you psychologically. Like, it was super cold right now. It's one in the morning. We've been walking continuously since 6 a.m. the previous day. I'm so drained right now. Like, I have nothing to give, but I'm just letting my legs, I'm just like, making them like walk continuously i can't even talk right now i'm that drained but we finished about say 60 kilometers and we're planning on doing one last stretch for today so it'll be almost 24 hours of walking continuously i'm so drained right now just look at this. have you ever seen beer biceps this less and who and this not using his hands i can't i can't feel my hands right now it's that cold Wow, this is psychologically so much more difficult than I anticipated. There were phases in that walk where I couldn't, I couldn't feed my hands. I didn't know what I was thinking. Like I was just walking. Like I'd completely phased out. There was nothing in my brain. There was nothing in my brain. Just crazy difficult, man. I don't know how I'm able to talk in front of camera right now. So, feet are completely blistered up, getting taped as you can see here, the most painful thing in the world and we still have about 25 kilometers, that's one fourth of the walk that's still left. Today it's just about 25 kilometers but I know it's going to be difficult but let's see how it goes. Downhill, downhill walks have been the worst. Puts the most pressure on your knees. It's the one thing I figured about this. Oh my knees are killing me. MCL, ACL, fatna jai yar. Kafi fucked in the knees. Killing me. So we just crossed checkpoint 8, it's super hot and last night was one of the most grueling walks of my life. There was a point where I just wanted to give up, there was a point where I thought I'm gonna collapse. But today after a good night's sleep, we're back on track baby. We're on our way to checkpoint number 9 now, second last checkpoint, conquer. That baby, let's go. Four kilometers from the final checkpoint. At this point, everything's hurting, but it's all about finishing the race. Let's go, baby. 
So we're at 99.5 kilometers. And at this point, I can't feel my legs. My knees feel like they're burning. They're contracting and they're burning. And it's just one of the most intense feelings in the world. Get a look at this, I needed a knee brace. I've never needed a knee brace even after like the heaviest squat sessions. Hundred kilometers. Hundred kilometers in thirty-six hours. Exactly thirty-six hours. End of the walk. Knees are still killing me. Blisters are just they're hurting so much that I can't feel them anymore. But <laughs> overall, so it's one great experience. I didn't love it, but it was psychologically the most testing thing I've done in terms of fitness. Way harder than gymming six days a week. So, I did prove that powerlifters and bodybuilders can do 100 kilometer walks, but it's very testing. It's very different from what we are used to. But let's see. Guys, you finish it in 35 hours. Say cheese. Thanks, Thanks so much for participating at Oxfam Field Walker 2016. See you again next year. So, we're finally done with the walk. Both pain hai, but a chief feel hai ki a bodybuilder finished 100 kilometers. What time did you walk? 6 a.m. yesterday. Okay. And uh, we full night we walked. My knee was very good. It was very good. I was So, too tired right now to even do an outro. But you guys know the drill. If you want to see more of my personal fitness journey, remember this entire journey was tracked on my Instagram handles. Go like my Instagram handle at Beer Biceps. My Snapchat is runv.1693, facebook.com slash beerbiceps. And overall, guys, just keep hustling.